Hi everyone, it's Dolly over at the Paper Plumeria. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I wanted to come on and do this video response and this VR is for Billy over at Craft and Cake with Billy. She is a fabulous crafter, very talented, and I love watching her YouTube videos because she loves the shabby chic theme and all of her projects are just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I wanted to share this with you because I'm really excited to join this challenge and I wanted to share the rules of this challenge with you. And you guys, it's early on because she won't be selecting a winner until April 1st, so you've got plenty of time if you wanted to join in on this challenge. She has uh, reached over 500 subbies and I'm so excited for her. And so she is hosting this uh, challenge giveaway, which I'm about to give you the rules to. But um, if I've missed anything, and I really encourage you to go check out that video, I'm gonna link her YouTube channel with that giveaway challenge video below. And I want you guys to please check it out and I hope that you will play along. So anyway, let me give you the rules to her giveaway. Um, like I mentioned, she won't be choosing a winner until April 1st. Okay, let's get into the rules, you guys. So the rules are you must be 18 years or older. You must live in the USA. You must be a visible subscriber to her channel and um, all entries must be received by April 1st. Winnings must be claimed no later than April 4th. So you can select as many projects as you would like to earn up to as much as 17 points. So now let me go ahead and get into um, what you can actually create. So for one point, all you have to do is like her giveaway video and comment um, in that video. For two points, you can make her an ornament. She's creating or she has a tree and she needs ornaments in Easter theme, shabby chic, or teacup theme. And for that would be for two points. For three points, you can do as I'm doing here and make a VR on your YouTube channel and invite others to participate as well as subscribe. And you just need to let her know that you posted a VR so that she doesn't overlook it. Okay, and then if you have Instagram, you can get a point by posting um, Billy's challenge and tagging her. Um, another point you can get for a decorated ATC card or a memory decks card. You can get another two points for a set of embellishments, two to four handmade or journaling tags or cards. Um, and here's here's the one that you can get a lot of points for four points for a decorated embellishment box And that's what I'm going to share in this video today is the Embellishment box that I have created for Billy. I've actually created a few other things But I wanted to leave a little bit of element of surprise for her in what I'm going to be sending her So today I'm only going to be sharing the um, embellishment box that I created for her so with that, you can also get two points for a specialty craft of your choice and one point for any extras you send her. And she also lists her favorite things, which is great because it kind of gives you an idea of what she likes. She likes pink, she likes golds, pastels, shabby chic, pearls, laces, buttons, um, vintage, jazz era, she says, Harlem Renaissance, teacup theme, junk journals, shaker mixers, stitch tags, flowers, bows, ornaments, Easter theme, embellishments, baking theme, trims, and all things creative. So uh, she gives you a very wide option to the things that you can submit and send to her and have fun with. And you guys, I definitely had fun making this embellishment box for Billy. So I know she indicated either a teacup theme or a shabby chic theme. So I decided to choose the shabby chic theme and create a 
um, embellishment box for her in the theme of a sewing machine. And I don't know if you can tell that this is supposed to be a sewing machine, but that's what it's supposed to be. So I took this Dollar Tree embellishment box and I tried to um, duplicate the face of my sewing machine, which is actually sitting to the right of me. And I just played with it. And so this is supposed to be the sewing machine. This is supposed to be the knob to the right of it. This is just all decoration, but here's the needle if you could kind of see where I'm going with this. I don't know if you can tell it's a sewing machine, but that's what it's supposed to be. And here's the thread, the bobbin um, up here. So to start, what I've done is I've added this silk flower. Uh, this was from Michaels. I just wanted to give it some girliness, so I added that to the front. There is a little flat back on here. You can't see it because it's kind of being covered by the petals. Then I took a button, a really pretty large button, and I added the thread, tied that in there, um, and just glued that onto a piece of uh, cardstock paper, pink cardstock paper to imitate the little buttons on the sewing machine. And then over here, this is the needle right here. This is kind of loose. Another flat back pearl over here. And then I just uh, had a die cut with a scissor. So I used that and this little dress form, which I think is so cute. Now this is actually cross stitch thread um, that I've, um, that I've spun around this little die cut, and this is a bobbin die cut as well. So um, that's about it for the outside, but let me go ahead and show you the inside. As you can see, this embellishment box is actually upside down because this is how you're supposed to open it, but I felt like it looked more like a sewing machine this way. So let's go ahead and open up the box so that I can show you what's inside. And here is what I have inside the box. So there are some flat back gems in here and I love these. These are probably my favorite flat backs to use because they're very iridescent. I've shared some trims with her and this has a really pretty glimmer. It's also iridescent and mostly in pinks because I know she loves pink. So I tried to get a variety of pink in here. Okay, this is kind of stuck. Okay. All right, and then I've shared some um, sequins with her, pink, and then also this iridescent. And actually both of these are iridescent. And then, um, I've shared some beads with her, some pearls, some clear beads, and mostly pearls, because um, I know she had mentioned that she does love pearls. And then I've added some silk roses, one already bloomed and one that's just, two that are just buds. And then also I wanted to share this cute dice, so mini punch with her, and it's of a bow, and with all the projects, she makes and the cute little things that she creates. I think that this might be very useful. And it's pink. I think she'd appreciate that. And then these little clips, which I just glued some flowers to, these are always fun in Happy Mail. And um, those come in the white and the hot pink. And then um, some lace flowers. I made these a while back. I decided to add those in there. And then a few other paper clips with the ribbons. And then a few other things. There's a little pink mermaid in here and that is a metal stick on. Oh, and then there's also this, which is a bookmarker. It's a mermaid with a little, uh, it's a mermaid bookmarker made of metal and it's got the pink beads. So there's a few other things in here. I'm not gonna take them all out. And then over here, these are um, wine charms, wine glass charms, and I just love them. One says cutie, one says love. Let me put these back so that you guys can see. And this is, uh, this is just so pretty. I love the colors. Okay, we'll put those back in there, and then um, this goes back in there as well. Okay. Everything is sticking together. 
Okay, I think this went in here. I don't know how that got out of there. Okay, so then um, this is the last one. I made these bows out of a out of a die that I have, and um, these two are in the iridescent pink, and then there's some with just pink cardstock, and I love those, and I hope she can use those. So. That is it for my embellishment box. It's all pinked out and I really hope that Billy likes it and I hope that she can use the items that I've um, shared with her. I'm going to go ahead and close that up. So again, that is my embellishment box for Billy and um, I hope that you guys will join along in this very fun challenge and um i would really appreciate it if you guys hop on to that giveaway video and um congratulate her on this great milestone like i said she is way past 500 subbies now and um going strong so uh thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it and i will talk with you soon bye everyone